Hey there, Scott Monday with Kitchen and Bath Crate. I'm really excited because today I get to do one of my favorite things, which is talk to some recent past customers. This is Jody and Doug. Hi. And Jody and Doug are recent Kitchen Crate custom customers here on Summer Tree Drive in Pleasanton. And you two are going to be kind enough to share with the audience out there about your crate journey. Is that right? That's right. Fantastic. Excited to hear from you. So uh, if you don't mind, we're going to kind of walk through chronologically. And so Jody, let's start with this question. How did you hear about Kitchen and Bath Crate, these guys that like put the remodel in a box? How did you hear about us? Well, actually, we take walks every night with our dog and we happen upon the crate in our neighborhood. So we kept watching the crate and seeing how fast it went and it was pretty quick. Then later on, our neighbors next door had the crate in front of their house. So I had the enjoyment of watching that take place as well. So it was, that's how we found out about you. Very cool. Yeah, before we kind of started the camera roll, we discovered that there's a handful of neighbors here mm -hmm. in this general vicinity that have worked with us, which yes. is really a lot of fun. So um, you, you saw the crates and you kind of wondered what was going on. You saw a neighbor uh, use us and things like that. Mm -hmm. Um, talk to me about the initial call, the initial phone consultation. I actually got to speak with the two of you, correct? Yes. How did that go? What was that experience like during kind of the phone consultation phase? Well, that was pretty easy because I just, my husband said, why don't you check it out online? So I did. I went online and I looked at it and I filled out the form as to what I was interested in. And the call back was pretty much immediate. You came right back to us and it was very informal, very casual, lots of good information. We had a good conversation on what we were looking for and we enjoyed it so much, we decided to go go ahead and do it. Absolutely. So the phone conversation went well. You decided you were gonna be kind enough to have us uh, come out for a visit. And so remind me who came out for that initial visit for your in-home consultation. That was Jeffrey. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. He came out and he walked us through everything he looked at the kitchen and he looked at the bathrooms bathroom was kind of a impulse last minute we actually decided the morning we had the call with you mm -hmm. that hey you know why don't we do the bathrooms also why not so, right if we're doing one thing you know <laughs> might as well jump in and jeffrey walked through and got an idea of the scope of our project mm -hmm. and the information so that he could go off and then generate a more detailed estimate for us. And Absolutely. Well, great. Well, that's a that's a great spot to kind of pause for just a minute. Tell us uh, specifically about the kitchen, if you will. Kind of what did that look like uh, before? What was the describe the before? What didn't you love about the space that we're sitting in right now? It was yellow. Uh, <laughs> it yes. was the uh, Home Depot build yellow oak cabinets, very yellow, and I was done with the yellow. Was it yellow? It was, it was yellow. It was yellow. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yellow oak is one of the probably the biggest reasons people call yeah. us because it just is not, 2020, it just doesn't work well. I haven't liked it for a very long time. <laughs> so now... A very long time. Yeah, and he's had to listen to me for a very long time talk about how I do not like my cabinet. <laughs> So the cabinets weren't your favorite. Mm -mm. What about the layout? Was the layout pretty similar to where you ended up? Yes. I... I it is my kitchen, so it's a one-woman kitchen, so I don't share well. So uh, it's just perfect for me and perfect. my realm, easy access to everything around me. So I really enjoyed keeping that. Um, we did do a few changes, but for the most part, it's about the same format as I had before. <laughs> yeah, and it's just very common because a lot of times in these homes, especially with a little bit of a smaller kitchen, there's really one layout that makes a lot of sense. And I noticed as I walk into this one immediately, you have a really great workstation here. Yes. And you have this nice triangle between the refrigerator, the sink, and the range. So really, it's like if it's if it if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? Mm -hmm. That's pretty a, much. <laughs> for it. Um, but you did elect to go with new cabinets as opposed to refinishing, and I just love like the dark, rich uh, cabinets you used here, which would not have been possible with that yellowed oak, correct? No. no. Was no. that one of the bigger drivers of the new cabinets as opposed to refinishing? I well, yes. I love wood, mm -hmm. and I know painting is very popular now. Yeah. But I am a fan of the wood look. Yeah, so, absolutely. And you're and, not alone in that. Uh, I'm, 
it's coming back. I it think is. it really is. <laughs> it sort of will always be with us. It should be. Yeah. Because it's a beautiful contrast, especially to the countertops and the backsplash. So you all nailed the color selection and things like that really well. That was a lot of help. <laughs> yeah. We had help. Which is another segue, right? Because yeah. Jeffrey came out. Uh, Jeffrey came out and showed you the proposal, right? And kind of walked through that phase and showed correct. you renderings, correct? Mm -hmm. the 3D yes. renderings. And then you decided to move forward, and the next step was your cabinet design meeting, right? Yes. Right. With Fernando and the rest of the team. Uh, so uh, why don't one of you just kind of explain how the, the cabinet design phase went? Well, they came out, and I had to describe what I needed mm -hmm. because that was one of the big things. What are you looking for in your cabinets? And mine is all storage. Absolutely. And function. Not, nothing else. I'm into a lot of storage. So we discussed drawers over cabinets and we went with the drawers and they were very good at explaining to me everything that we were going to be able to change in my kitchen, mm -hmm. like adding the corner cabinets instead Absolutely. of having the ones where I couldn't reach everything in the back. They really explained everything to me and how everything would come and look. Mm -hmm. So I had a sort of a visual until I got the final visual, but it was it was a lot of fun. They Excellent. they were very informative and they did allow me to put my pantry in where I didn't have a pantry before and that was my another big I must have Absolutely. is a pantry. <laughs> Absolutely. Definitely. You are not alone in that. That pantry <laughs> space is so valuable especially with with proper access to the things that get lost in the back and yes. so forth. Yes. So very important stuff. Okay, so that was the cabinet design phase. And then shortly thereafter, you met with our interior design team, uh, mm -hmm. Lindsay yes. or Casey. Casey. Casey, in this case, and Jeffrey. And so kind of taking the vision in your mind and maybe some inspiration items that you had and translating it to the finishes here. Did you enjoy that process? Was that helpful? That was very helpful because that was one of the stressors for me mm. is picking everything. Yes. Because I'm, there's so many things out there that Casey really did help me in narrowing everything down because there are so many paint colors that she brought. And I, I was like, this is not going to go well. <laughs> because that's, that's way too... It's an intimidating fan deck, it? is. It's like, here, I'm one of these 900 <laughs> colors. But she walked you through it. Oh, she had like, okay, of these three. I'm like, okay, yes. I can handle three. Yes. Three is good. He's better than 900. So, yes. <laughs> Well, and it's the same thing with the grout. It's mm -hmm. pulled out the samples and yeah. you've got 150 grout colors. <laughs> and your eyes just go, I can't do that. And she says, wait, with the tile you picked out, let me choose these three. Yes. Yeah. I can choose between three. Yes. Between 150, we'd still be in the design meeting. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you're exactly <laughs> right. So, yeah, the, the design process is really good at kind of taking all the world of design has to offer and getting it down to just those very manageable decision points. Yes. So it sounds like that's the way you felt in the process. Very much so. It made it a lot less stressful for me because that was one of my major hurdles on doing the kitchen. Absolutely. Makes well, sense. They were very good about learning our tastes, our mm -hmm. style. So after not very long, they could kind of point us to the ones that they thought we'd like. Sometimes other things would catch our eyes as we're going through the design center, but they're really good at, at not just kind of saying, oh, this is in vogue or this is popular, but learning what we wanted in our kitchen and in our space. So Absolutely. that was really helpful. Excellent. Really glad to hear that. That's fantastic. So the, the cabinets were designed and the interior design selections were completed. Mm -hmm. Right, and then there's yep. a little bit of a waiting period because things need to be ordered and you know jobs need to be scheduled. But then we came to day one of construction, <laughs> right? Oh yes. Mm -hmm. Now everybody approaches day one of construction differently. Some people are excited, some people are a little nervous, some people are a combination thereof. What were the two of you feeling on day one of construction at 7:30 when the crew descends upon your home? How did you feel? I was excited. I mean, I had moved everything out. So then it was like, okay, let's just get this going. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I yes. have done no all the prep. <laughs> let's get it out. Let's get rid of it all. So I was, I was excited about it. And they did show up right at, mm -hmm. you know, seven o'clock, they started pulling up in the front of the house and they just sat out there and waited. It's like, you guys can come on in, <laughs> yes. get on started, break this yeah. down. Absolutely. <laughs> Yeah, uh, we'd spent the weekend before getting ready. We had uh, set up 
camp stove in the backyard, um, mm -hmm. microwave in the garage. I had gone through and I had taped out in the garage, put the stove here, put the refrigerator here. Thank you for that, by the way. Very helpful. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> we like you know, that, That's the cross things. between being prepared and being really overly prepared. <laughs> no such thing. Oh, he's one of those customers. <laughs> no, no, uh, no. We love those customers. <laughs> but yeah, they came, um, did the walkthrough, did the walkthrough with us. Mm -hmm. Make sure again went over the schedule and what was going to happen, and yes. so that we knew everything that was going to happen. And then they got to work, and we saw bits and pieces of the kitchen just going out of the house. Yeah, and it wasn't long before this room was empty. Yeah, it's pretty quick. It's pretty. Oh, it's, oh, very, it's quick. very quick. Right, that, that comes together. Oh, yeah, I was impressed at how fast it all started going out the door, <laughs> because they were doing here and upstairs in yeah. the master bath. It was a lot of fun. Very active day, I would imagine. Mm -hmm. Yes. The dog kept watching them go in and out, in and out. <laughs> well, which brings up a good point, because sometimes I don't get to ask this question in these uh, conversations, but it's really, uh, it's really important, and I feel like every year it becomes more important, and that's the question of pets. Because mm -hmm. for a lot of folks, pets are, are, are not only just you know the pet, but they're a member of the family, and they, they need kind of their own care uh, taken. So um, with your dog, at Blue, correct? Yes. Right? And so how did he acclimate to the cruise? Uh, let's just say he adopted them as part of his family <laughs> because our dog does bark when anybody first comes, but by, I'd say after the first week, the dog was just like, oh, they're here. <laughs> okay. And Rich, who is one of our techs, mm -hmm. always had to greet Blue every morning. Hey, Blue, how you doing? And I have to say, Blue is a little sad when they all left. Oh. He was a little lonely. Well, had some friends. That we <laughs> he know had we're buddies. Out. <laughs> and he could sit out front when they were out front, and he'd sit and watch them as they were doing their stuff out front or wherever. He'd just follow them around. That's really funny. <laughs> they did have to learn, though, that he would like to race them on the stairs. Oh. So if they're going up or down the stairs, <laughs> they'd start and then the dog would take off after them. So they'd have to like pause about halfway so they yeah. you wouldn't all end up in a tangle yeah, on the land. Let, the let blue come, come mm -hmm. through, right? Absolutely. Because he's coming through one way or another. That's fantastic. Um, one thing I forgot to ask you about, which uh, b before construction, but after the design phase, it was your launch meeting. Your, we mm -hmm. call it a launch meeting, pre-construction meeting, right. if you will. It was during that meeting that, that your project manager presented you with the schedule and things mm -hmm. like that. Was that helpful, having that pre-construction meeting so you kind of knew what was going to be happening before we actually started the work? I have to say it, it was really nice to have that because I would check it every day. Yes. It's like, okay, what are we doing this week? Mm -hmm. Who do we have coming in? And we got daily updates too. Mm -hmm. If anything changed or people couldn't make it and other people were coming instead. Sure. But they held pretty straightforward to that schedule. It happened on the days they said things were going to happen and it was all nicely color-coded, which is nice for me. I like color-coded. Yeah. Yeah, who doesn't like color-coding? <laughs> I was like, oh, that means this team, this means that team. And it started and it finished right when they said they would. I, it was very comfortable. The entire experience was very relaxing. Excellent. Which yeah. you don't hear a lot about construction, <laughs> especially <laughs> home renovation, right? I mean, that's... Well, one thing back to... Um, you know, kind of how we chose KB yeah. Crate. We mm -hmm. had the job that was next door last summer, but our other neighbors behind us were having a kitchen renovation at the same oh. time. With a different so, company. With a different yeah. company. So we got to compare and contrast. Ooh, you tell know, me about this the, comparison. Uh, well, it seemed like our, our next door neighbor, he had a schedule. He knew what was happening, when it was happening, how mm -hmm. long. Our next, or our neighbors behind us they just seem to have a process that just continued on and on and on. Mm -hmm. And it was actually funny to watch the two of them talk because Gabe would say, I have a schedule. I know what's <laughs> happening next week. And our other neighbors would be saying, well, we think they're coming back next Tuesday to work on the wall. That was another thing that made us very comfortable ahead of time was we got to watch your crews work next door. So not mm -hmm. only did we get to see the finished product beforehand, we got to see the way that your right. people work and you know, just the professionalism. Um, they were there on time every day. They cleaned up every day. Yes. You didn't hear you know, loud rap music coming from the crate in the middle of the day when they took their lunch break. So 
it was we were already very comfortable beforehand that we knew we were getting a good product. Awesome. Yeah, you bring up a really good point because uh, I think there's a lot of contractors out there that can produce beautiful finished products like this. That's why why contractors do what we do. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I'm really glad you experienced not only that, but also along the way. Um, it was uh, as stress-free as, as something as invasive mm -hmm. as a remodel can be, right? And that's, yes. that's, that's really cool to hear. So, Well, even in the design phase, um, when they're walking you through it, mm -hmm. Casey and Jeffrey really made sure that, you know, everything was covered. Things that we would never have thought about. Shortly after we moved into the house, you know, we had the backyard landscape. Yeah. And I remember our experience with that is that the contractor would call mm -hmm. us up in the evening and say, what flagstones did you pick? We're installing tomorrow. Oh and I'm gosh. going, I was supposed to pick something. Oh gosh. Um, I think that's part of the service that your company provides is really kind of a guided process. There were no surprises as far as design or choosing or you didn't cover this. Everything was covered thoroughly up front. Once you tear open the walls, there's always, you know, Oops, yeah. this is unexpected. But then again, the crews that you had working here, we always had confidence that no matter what wrinkles were thrown in the process, we were going to be happy with the end result and it was going to be taken care of properly. Oh, fantastic. Appreciate hearing that. Yeah, we're definitely blessed with those men and women on the team that, that make this stuff happen. So, oh, yes. Absolutely. So, um, construction proceeded and kind of kind of went along and kind of as it approached the end and you saw things coming together, was it kind of exciting to see the daily progress and to kind of get to the finish line? Was that a cool feeling? It really was because it was like every day was Christmas. <laughs> a new present. A huh? new present because. Once I pick everything, it was like, okay, it's picked. I forgot what I picked. <laughs> so it was like, oh, wow, I did good. <laughs> I'm looking at it now, you did great. I love it. So love it. it all went together. You know, I am very functional. Mm -hmm. Everything has to be very functional. So, you know, I look at other people's kitchens and it's like, oh, that's really pretty. Not in my kitchen, but it's pretty in your kitchen. Sure. So this is me, very functional, very, and it was really... It was really nice. I have to say the under cabs that we have were not my idea. <laughs> yeah, the under cabinet lighting, <laughs> yes. correct? I really love it. But uh, I initially did not plan to have the under cabinet lighting. It was one of our techs, Rich, who came up and said, ah, when are you, I don't see the under cabinet lighting on here. I'll have to check the schedule. I'm like, didn't actually go for that. And he's like, okay. So he checked. <laughs> in the stuff. Rich and got a little judgy. Got a little <laughs> judgy with you. Judgy. Only in a good way. Only in a good way. Yeah, yeah. Because he, once he <laughs> becomes part of your family and doing your job, he, it's his kitchen. Yes. It's his bathroom. Matt's the same way. They were very possessive of, no, this isn't right. This isn't right. They'd notice things before I did. Mm -hmm. And they'd call about it. Mm -hmm. If there was any an issue, I'd come in and say, well, Rich, and he's like, already called. Yeah. I've already called. I'm like, oh, okay. So really, everything was so smooth. We only had one hiccup, my drawer. <laughs> Tell us about that. All right. That was funny. That was a hilarious day, actually, because um, they were putting in all of the big pieces. Yes, the appliances. My, the appliances. Thank you. You're welcome. You're always I'm there for, for me. <laughs> so he was putting in the appliances, and then I hear, uh-oh, in the kitchen. And I'm like, you know, to die. Oh, you <laughs> I just kind of said, remodel, right? Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm sitting there, and they're they're discussing here. Matt and Rich are discussing that. Uh, well, are you going to tell her, or am I going to tell her? <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> so I come in. I said, okay, guys, what's going on? And they looked like two kids who had just done something wrong. And I'm like, okay, come on. And they're like, well, we have a problem with your drawer. And I'm like, which drawer? And he says, the one next to the stove. And he says, What's, what do you think the problem is? And I look at the stove and I look at the drawer. And the handle to the stove blocks the corner of the drawer, so yeah. the drawer won't open. Mm -hmm. And they're like, uh, we don't know what we're gonna do about that. And I said, no problem. It's all gonna be fine. And you're not mad? I'm like, no. I said, you're gonna make it better. You're gonna yeah. fix it. And he says, well, yeah. And I said, that's all I needed to know. Yeah. You're gonna fix it. I'll be fine. And they did. I have a one-of-a-kind drawer. Yes, you do. 
Very and unique and special. It is. It's, it is my showpiece. I have to say, everybody who comes into my kitchen gets to see my one-of-a-kind yeah. sideways opening uh -huh. drawer. That is just special for me. <laughs> And I love hearing about things like this because I think a lot of times when you see other businesses talk through construction projects or customer experiences, it's it's only the positive, right? It's mm -hmm. all the you know sunshine and puppy dogs and things like that. <laughs> but this is construction, and in mm -hmm. construction, challenges pop up. Mm -hmm. And the whole reason why folks like you hire a company like ours is because our job is to find solutions to those things. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we love it when we have customers like the two of you that give us the chance to say. This isn't right. This isn't perfect. Let's figure out a better way. And I really, I, I love to hear things like that because that's just the truth of how this world is, right? Oh if yeah. Be honest with it. So. I mean, you know, there are going to be issues somewhere along the line. Absolutely. If everything was perfect, what would be the fun? Oh, that would be so boring. <laughs> it would be boring. Smoothly and no problems. <laughs> I, I kind of like to see them figure things yeah. out. It was we had quite a few people working on that drawer one day. Yeah, mm -hmm. and they so came up. A <laughs> they came in. They brainstormed and and we left. Yeah, you figured it out, and then they were texting and pictures and videos of how the drawer was working, and I was yeah. like, it's good for me. Well, the last thing they need is you know the owners going. All right, what are you doing? Uh, how are you going to fix that? What's your idea? It's like, man, yeah. it'll, it'll get done. It takes a minute sometimes. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. They came up with a very creative solution. Yeah, excellent. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, um, so at the end of every job, once again, there's full transparency here. At the end of any job, there's some things that need to be addressed in the following you know, days and weeks. We call those punch list items. Things that mm -hmm. sometimes maybe aren't noticed until you start living in the space. I assume the two of you had a few of those items, correct? Just a few, not and many. And were they resolved promptly? Oh yes. oh, yes. So you didn't try to call us and you couldn't get a hold of us because you'd given us a check already? No. Actually, wow. well, you've always done it. I always hear about my industry. Um, <laughs> Once the money exchange hands, you don't see us again. Yeah. Actually, I had to remind you about the last payment. I <laughs> know. <laughs> <laughs> Notice itself. Work on that. Work on that. Yeah. Now, well, we have a pass through window, and the company that did the windows switched the suppliers. So that was another challenge that came. So that was finished a little bit later. Mm -hmm. So we paid for everything except the window because it wasn't done. Right. And then when the parts came in for the custom screen that they did mm -hmm. for us, came out, installed it, and it was done. And everyone was happy. And I asked, would you like to be paid for the window? <laughs> And the response I got back was, yes, please. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. We'll so stop by. <laughs> we'll be there very quickly. Well, awesome. Well, it, it's been such a pleasure to meet you face to face. We've spoken, uh, obviously, way early in the process, but to mm -hmm. meet you two in person has been a real pleasure and to see this beautiful space. Uh, any parting words, any final thoughts, anything that you would maybe specifically tell a potential kitchen and bath crate customer out there? Well, it's a wonderful experience. From start to finish, I was afraid to do it. First of all, I didn't like getting rid of my kitchen. I, I live in my kitchen, but they made it all very comfortable. I mean, every step of the way, somebody was there to answer a question. I could text or um, call and somebody was always there. I even did it on a weekend, not thinking I'd get a response, but somebody called mm. that weekend. So it, they are very hands-on. They become family actually because once they're in your house they take care of you like they are family and they want everything perfect for you so it is a great it's a great experience and i highly recommend it awesome thank you for that yeah i'd have to reiterate um really just the guidance that we got along the way so it wasn't you know we hired kb crate and okay what do you want and we'll be there and we'll you know do the job it's let us help refine your vision, mm -hmm. give you the cost estimates, let you know what you're looking at, work with you to really, so you can get what you want. And we wouldn't have been able to do this on our own. <laughs> we would still be trying to decide what tile we want, what countertop we want. And so that was really, took a lot of the stress out of it. Uh, communication was excellent. We always knew what was gonna happen when. Um, we had a schedule. Mm -hmm. um, the schedule was always kept to, any changes were communicated. It was really a smooth process overall and 
very helpful. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for trusting us with not only your kitchen, but some other spaces as well. It's such an honor to be able to work for you too and, and to be able to make these spaces better for you, especially with the upcoming holidays, right? That's kind of fun. It's going to get a lot of use. <laughs> Absolutely. So once again, thanks again. And uh, if you would like more information about kitchen and bath crate, perhaps you yourself are considering an upcoming remodel, kbcrate.com is a great resource. Or you can just give us a call, 888-995-7996, and we would love to chat with you. So once again, thank you two so much for your time, and thank you out there for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.